Chris Chinock here from uh, ISC 2013. Uh, I'm in the DMP booth with Soren Lindegaard, and we're going to talk about your Invisa bezel technology. Uh, so if you're looking uh, through the camera right now, you can see uh, on the left, on your left side, uh, are, is a, a two by two array with, these are 55 inch uh, Samsung, 46 inch, 46 inch yes. a Samsung narrow bezel. What's the bezel width on those? Uh, 5.6 millimeter. 5.6 millimeter, okay. So that's a standard uh, narrow bezel uh, video wall. On this side, you can see this with the Invisa bezel uh, technology. So, uh, and, and I think it should be very obvious that you can see the bezels here and you really can't see the bezels over here. So please tell us exactly how this technology works. The technology works in the way that we are putting a front cover on the panel itself. It's an acrylic element which have a kind of a lens structure. So optically we are magnifying the image on the LCD panel so that it stretch out over the bezel. Mm -hmm. And in that way, you are optically, you are hiding the bezel so that it becomes invisible. So th this is a, 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 actually a fairly substantial acrylic uh, uh, attachment that goes over the flat panel. And I, I can see it, it's, it's pretty thick and probably a little bit heavy too, is that correct? Yeah, it's, uh, the thickness is 15 millimeter. The weight is about 11 kilogram, mm. roughly 20 pounds for, for the 46 inch panel. Right. And uh, you're right, it, it actually sits on the front of the LCD panel and it's, uh, it's attached to each individual LCD panel, so you can actually bring them up and down one by one, the panels, including the invisible bezel. Right. And okay. uh, the fixation is relatively simple. That can be done within five, 10 minutes for each panel. Now, it's, it's not a, a permanent, you can remove the, the bezel? You can remove it, and uh, it, it's, the installation is so simple that you can do it on the installation side. You don't have to bring the panel to a special facility for mounting this invisible bezel. That can be done very easily okay. uh, in the field. Okay, that's that's very handy then. Yeah. Now, when I when I went up and looked at it um, uh, pr previously, you could see there's a, a little bit of the, a curvature where the bezel um, uh, where, for, for the bezel between the two panels. That is the optical curvature that you have to get. And again, when you go up close, you can start to see little uh, well a series of black lines. That's actually the pixel structure, as you explained to me. Correct. Right. That is uh, that's perfectly correct what you say. It is, a, it is a magnification that you do. It also means that the area where you're magnifying the image, the pixels actually appear larger. Yeah. Um, so you will, you will see it as a kind of a slight structure in the image when you really go uh, close to the display. Right. And we actually looked at some spreadsheets with this and you can see there is a little bit of distortion over that, uh, over that edge. But of course, you're not gonna really use this for spreadsheets, uh, but it's just to show there's a little bit of optical distortion, but for images and video, it's essentially invisible. Yeah, and our experience is that you, even though that you have a slight distortion in, in the, in the uh, transition areas, it, it really doesn't matter compared to the benefit of, of having an invisible bezel. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So you're showing this here really to gather feedback from the industry uh, in terms of the best applications for this. Is what's, what's the feedback been so far? Well, the feedback have been, in, in general, very positive. Um, everybody recognized that this is a new innovative product. It, it's something new to the industry. Um, you see these traditional super narrow bezel LCD flat panels all over. Yeah. Uh, now there's something that, that is modifying the product that itself is very interesting. And of course, the, the feature that, uh, that you actually can hide the bezels is, uh, is very appealing to, to a lot of uh, people that have been here. Uh, the thing that is, is, a, is a bit hard to, uh, to nail down is really what exactly the applications will be. Mm. Um, as we look at it here, it, it looks very impressive when you look at it uh, from straight forward in front of, of the display. When you go more off axis to steeper viewing angles, uh, the bezels start to appear more visible uh, than they are from this position. Yes. So yeah. it means yeah, for, I noticed that. Yeah, for an application where you really are looking at the display from this direction, it's super. Um, if you need to look at it from a variety of viewing angles, it's, um, it's probably not as convincing as you see it here. Yeah, yeah. And it's got a, a little bit of glare to it all, also, I noticed. Yeah, that's, um, we would like really to avoid that, uh, but that's the nature of the product, that it, it needs to have a glossy surface um, yeah. to still generate a good image right. quality. And that means that you, you will have some mirror reflections to some extent. Sure. Yeah. 
So have you thought about uh, how you uh, would price this thing if you, if you commercialize this yet? What kind of a premium? Yeah, the, the price is not fixed yet, mm -hmm. but it will be in the range of approximately 25% on top of the cost of the LCD panel itself, okay. Okay. which we believe is a, an affordable uh, price for those end users who really want to get rid of the bezel completely. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it certainly does work, uh, again, at these distances and, and a nice straight on viewing angle. Yeah. Um, it's, it is just quite evident. So great, Soren, thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, thank and, you. and we ask all of you to come and take a look at this. It's really worth taking a look at. Okay, Chris Chinock for Display Central.